Welcome to Parker Square, where we park our squares. Mm-hmm. This is the square zone. Need squares? Can I park a square? Do you still have contacts in the prison? I already asked if they could make our guys slip in the shower. They're dirty, but they're not that dirty. I'm gonna get arrested. Of course you are. Why the hell are you doing that? This witness we're after? He's a nobody. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He wasn't looking for me. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to understand I can reach him anywhere, anytime. That is a terrible plan. I love it. I'll find a map of the joint, talk you through it once you're inside. Anything you need? My phone? Jesus, you have a problem. You need to unplug. Jordy, I need my phone. They'll confiscate it the second I'm in. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I got just a guy. He's begging to settle his debt. Just get your phone. I just really need to check Twitter and Facebook and Grubhub in prison. Yeah, those hot Grubhub updates. <laughs> oh! Ouch. <laughs> now, see, the thing that they could use, and I hope they do, but I doubt it, uh -huh. is that Cook County Jail is right in the middle of the loop, and it's a really cool-looking building. Hmm. It's triangular and awesome, and if you didn't know it was the jail, you'd think, damn, that's a fine-ass building. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really look like Aww. that. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I like when I crash into that truck that, uh, my motorcycle just kind of went away. Didn't get, like, knocked over somewhere. It just kind of disappeared. Well, they, they didn't have enough, like, wreckage modeling <laughs> to show what really happened to your, tr uh, to your <laughs> bike. Protector! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, like, trying to get arrested here. Okay, come on. I'm right up here. Arrest Wait, me. You can't, like, turn yourself in for being the vigilante. You have to do a new thing to get arrested. No, no, you, you just, you can just turn yourself in. Okay. I just wish there was, if you were just doing crimes or being, doing ridiculous stuff that you could also just get arrested that way. But the cops in this game are incapable of arresting you. They will just shoot you dead. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, actually. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. All right. Apparently, this is not criminal enough. And those people do not care about the crimes that were just happening. Like, that's perfectly lawful driving. Yep, that's... She's gonna vlog about that so hard, though. Yeah, she is. You're gonna get so vlogged. <laughs> That noise. Palin Correctional Center. They recently upgraded the place with Bloom's state-of-the-art security. Network locks, automated surveillance. If they were holding the guy in an older prison, I'd have a problem. But Bloom's right on this one. They do make life easier through technology. good at spelling with a touchscreen without Right? Looking. He must... Maybe they're tactile there's, there's somehow. There's no the way I would've got Joe Smith without looking on my phone. Yeah, but only after... He only typed Joe Smith after a guy read and typed and also said out loud, Aiden Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> All the cops here have body cameras. This really is the future. Oh, uh, yeah. So 
So to even get out of your cell, you just gotta bounce between a couple dudes and hack stuff. Go faster, cop man, go faster. The optimal path still includes a little bit of waiting. And <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> cause you're just this in that little shirt pocket, you can't turn you angle your camera much, so you just gotta wait for him to turn. Alright. Jordy, I'm inside. Uh, obviously? Cut the shit. I should have sent you in here. This was your mistake. You might want to keep it down. You'll end up with a free trip to solitary. I can't get you out. I'm gonna find the inmate schedule. I'll be in touch. Eight o'clock is breakfast. Don't be late. <laughs> then we're gonna do macrame. Yeah. yeah. So there's, you can, this is the easiest way to go. You can kind of go all around and come downstairs and get in here too, but it's way harder. Don't do it. Jordy, I found the schedule. Where's the exercise yard? Up top. Do they mean the roof? Yeah. Because that is also true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So on that desk over there is supposed to be an audio log, but once you pick it up, you have it forever. So I have to go in here to play it. My assignment, elect Mayor Rushmore. I'm not kidding. Did, did they find a voice actor and just give him like three super fan sketches and be like, do that? <laughs> what was that voice? I don't know. This totally blows. Alright, let me do my warm up. Sausage. Sausage. <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. And time for one of these things. Go Cubs! Go Cubs! All right, all right. Okay. It's a good audition. If I remember right, this guy had his own Picasso ink all over his face. Ugly as shit. Makes him an easy mark. He's up here somewhere. Quinn doesn't want to take any chances. Oh shit, man! How do I get in on that? Oh, leave him alone. He's showing improvement. Yeah. Amateur petrologist. I don't know what petrology is. <laughs> is it the study of men named Peter? Hmm. Hello. Now, I'm gonna get you off the roof. Like, pretty much every single cop you scan in this mission is just like, THEY'RE BAD COP! Who says I have to be moved? Who are you guys? What about my lawyer? Where are, you, where are we going? Answer Gee, me! Sucks. Show me Will the you paperwork! Shut up. Where's my lawyer? We're taking you to your lawyer. No, no way! Right after we clean you, what you up do? first. I ain't going with a shut bunch of crooked fuck up! Damn, better reach him fast before they kill him. That's a problem. Some guards just took our guy. Fuck, basement, they're in the basement. You're trying to kill him! Are you trying <laughs> to kill him? You're no, he was telling Jory he just wanted to scare the shit out of him. If they kill him, your problem is fixed. Then you just have to get out of jail. Yeah. And the way to get out of this jail, as we know from history, is to tie bedsheets together because the old <laughs> ways are the best ways. Yeah. Oh, yes. Like there's quite a little crooked operation being run out of this joint. Look at you bringing justice back to the prison system. Floor's empty. Door's wide open. No silent alarms have gone off. Watch your back. I don't know. Okay, I, I do know I'm bringing a shotgun to prison, so... That's a kind of justice. Yeah, shotgun justice. Shotgun justice is my favorite uh, A&E drama series. <laughs> 
What's a couple of bottom feeders doing at the stadium? Doing a deal without cutting us in? Think we don't have friends in high places? They expect a cut, too. <gasps> no! I, I told you already. It wasn't a deal. We got called, man. Double Fuck tricked. that, trick. Stop lying. We warned you before. Think we won't leave you for dead, too? I, I can't take no more. I'll tell you what I know. I swear. Please, man, I swear. And your buddy? What happened to him? Where's he now? Okay, we still had to save him because they're beating him up, so he'll tell them about Aiden. I guess. It still seems like it works. I don't know. Take out the corrupt guards! It says. So this is like the first time the game actually forces you into a gunfight. Up to this point, you didn't have to kill anybody, really. Mm -hmm. There is a way to uh, take out all the cops without actually killing them, uh, and it gets you more experience points for, for being quote-unquote non-lethal, but what you do is you shoot them in the knees until they fall over and don't shoot you anymore, like that. Uh-huh. And then they'll just be like, ARGH, on the ground! Just for think of a bunch. how much you're costing the city in, like, pension pay now. Yeah. We're in a crisis here. The the experience bonus will say crippled instead of like headshot. <laughs> so, Hooray! <laughs> it's Longshoreman X. <laughs> it kind of yeah, it is. Was he just waiting behind the shutter? I guess so. <laughs> I love these dudes because they don't really fit with any of the other enemy types because like all the other cops you fight are like, you know, move, get behind cover, he's over there, I'm gonna shoot him. And then these dudes, when they walk out, they're like, I'm invincible! I have so much armor! Your bullets do nothing to me! And it's like, what? <laughs> I saved your life, now don't rat on me, kid. <laughs> like, okay, Aiden's gotta get in there. And make sure he doesn't talk before they kill him. Yeah. Okay. It makes a stupid kind of sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm invincible! Where, where did he go, little fella? Down over here. Relax. You're inside. How'd you get inside, man? You know, it was pretty simple. These high-tech security prisons, they make it quite easy, really. Have we met? What? Have we met? Uh, no. No, i never seen you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. So you're in here for 60 days, and good behavior, you're out in 30. <clears throat> what does that say? Sixty years? What are you doing, man? I'm just showing you an alternate future. You know, in case you get the urge to share your stories, or... Make a deal with the cops. We're clear, right? All units possible prison escape. Be on the lookout for white male, Joe Smith. I need a unit up to the laundry. We've lost communication. Copy. We're on it. Jordy, it's done. Fantastic. I'm guessing you're eager to get out of there. There's a care package on its way for you. Where? Don't worry. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's right there at your feet. You're touching it with your foot. <laughs> Come on, dude. Where is it? You're touching it. I can't look down. Dum -dum. Wow, I only censored him after like a second and a half of solid, not censored footage of his face. Well, he suddenly All became porn. <laughs>
people? Did you vote for Rushmore? If you did, I'm sorry. That was me. This is some heavy, heavy shit. We knew the numbers we'd need for a win when we calculated the population. The CTO has worked out what specific messages people needed to hear. We're to display them. Not subliminal either. Right there in your face. All units, all units. Air support is on its way. Hang on. great part about this game is anytime anybody talks while you're listening to an audio log, the audio log just gets muted. <laughs> so you have to listen to it a second time. Or great. not pay attention to anything else and just read the subtitles. Police officer disabled. That's what it says. I thought it actually said crippled. Okay, it's, it's not as bad. <laughs> I mean, they are no longer to perform their duties in the moment. So yeah. we, from a technical... Perspective. Hup! Yeah, hell yes! Hell what? yes! <laughs> that part's fun. Ooh, I like that swoopy sculpture. Yeah. Pretty swoopy. And again, another mission that just kind of ends with getting chase. However, these places are awesome because you get to ramp it a little. Hell yeah! On your way to the docks. Yep. Oh, I fucked up! <laughs> oh well. Ramp it a little baby ramp. Just, just a tiny bit. Not too much. The mad mile, that's where we're at. The mad mile. Sure, whatever. Yeah. Why not? Squad, this guy's gone. That plan actually worked. I need to be safe. Now, Lena's attackers. I want the one responsible. Damien bragged about a second hacker. Someone else inside the Merlot. Need to find out what Damien knows. We made it. He made it. We lost him. Uh, meanwhile, we're getting reports of a reckless driver immediately outside the search area. If see if he's just just look for a car that's permanently on fire. That's him. There he is. So so am I reading this right? We finished Act One of the game. Yes. Aiden, we had a very unpleasant meeting. Well, I didn't kill you. We used to get along. I taught you so much. Look at you, big time hacker now. Is that you in the news? The vigilante. You mentioned a second hacker at the Merlot job. But we already knew there was another hacker. You found something new. Ah, intriguing, isn't it? Come, let's meet and I'll explain. Tell me. Then I'll consider meeting. Oh no. My information, my rules. Besides, we need to make up for last time. I'm very excited, Aiden. Come soon. So yeah, this game does a thing most open world games do it, but Ubisoft games especially, where it takes a while for the plot to actually move, because lots of things will happen that will cause four or five missions to happen mm -hmm. to solve a minor problem. Like that guy in the prison, we're not going to see him ever again, he doesn't matter. Of course not. We, we solved it, we fixed it. Just how it got into the country isn't clear. Police say this is part of a larger sting operation, but wouldn't elaborate. Can you drive your bike up the uh, stairs to get onto the train? Uh, yes. Awesome. I, oh shit, you could probably get the motorcycle in the train like it's torque. Hell yes! Wow, I'm gonna have to do that now. I never even thought about that. That's why we're a team! <laughs> Oh man, 40%, that's a number. Ooh. This is a specific number CTOS has crafted to appeal to me. I need to make this quick. Damien's pride is his weak spot. Just play it up. Convince him to say what he knows. Then drop him. He's too reckless. He's too dangerous. Where are you? I don't think you're gonna like my answer. You know what? Forget it. 
I don't need whatever you got. You brought me nothing but trouble. We're done talking. Oh, too late, Aiden. <laughs> you won't believe where I am. Never mind, I'll send you the feed. Find a TV and have a look. Yeah, got you. That's Nikki's house. What are you doing? You should hurry, my boy. Your pretty sister needs you. Damien! Ooh, the new fall collection. That new fall collection is a crime. Damien, what are you doing? Again, another instance of music made for Watch Dogs. It's pretty cool and evokes a cool mood that the game doesn't actually hit quite right. I think it's like a weird... I th it's partially, I think, just because it's... I was going for a cyberpunk thing, but it's also using, like, a very, like, attempting to be, like, modern, current-time Chicago that doesn't feel particularly cyberpunk. He played me. That son of a bitch played me, and I let him. What's he doing, Nikki's? No, he won't hurt them. I'll kill him if he touches them. No, he has to know that. No, he's trying to draw me there. He wants me to work with him. Find the guys who attacked us? Fuck that. I need to take him down. Uh, actually, there's a cool um, podcast called Song Exploder that talks to composers about like making their songs. Okay. And one of their episodes is with the composer that worked on Watch Dogs. Oh, really? Cool. I'll have to link that. Six years old. It's tragic. Where are they? Such a waste. All of this, it's such a waste. You know, the real tragedy here is that somebody like you was surrounded by so many fragile things. It makes you fragile. Ah! Where? That, that's not how it works. You don't want to answer that. Yeah. Nikki, where are you? Nikki! Ah, stop and think. You fuck around and she's dead. This isn't how I wanted it. But this is where we are. If you'd listen to me, things would be different. Just tell me where they are. Where they are? There's only Nikki. That little boy. I don't know where he is. Now this is what's gonna happen. I point to a hard drive. I told you there was another hacker. That will lead you to his computer. Get it? And you'll find out who ordered the hit on us. What do you really want? You lost your right to question me. I want that hard drive, that's all you need to know. And that's the price for Nikki. Stop overthinking, Aiden. I need regular updates. In exchange, you get to talk to Sis. Quit pro and all that. This won't end well for you. Perhaps, but don't get clever. I really have no problem killing that girl. We'll talk soon, partner. Where is Jax? Damien doesn't have him. I hope he's got his tablet. There. He's on the L. Oh shit, someone's after him. There you are. I was worried. The dead sack hacks you gave me. Can I control the L? The train? Yes, but... I need that right now. How do I do it? It's locked. Hold on. I'm sending something. It's a zero-day exploit. The trains won't recognize the hack, but it only works once. Send it now. It's sent. What happened, Aiden? I don't have time. Meet me at the Al Motel later, okay? I'm late for a meeting. My dry cleaning's ready. I need to go right now. <laughs> so at this point, that dialogue is a little different depending on whether or not you had already bought the train hack upgrade I hadn't so Lena or the lady had to give us the hack okay 
So the one she gives you is single use, but if you buy it, you get multiple uses? Yep, yeah, you can just hack the trains whenever. Uh, hacking the trains, it's just... Hacking a train just makes a stop or go, that's it. And the game really wants you to know, you're gonna hack that thing. There, There's the boy. So... So all we did is we stopped a train. Oh, the train stopped here. We're gonna hack it now oh, to make it go. To make it go to escape the bad man. Yep. Time. Make the next station. Hold on, kiddo. So if you think like, oh, I'm gonna get to the next station, and I'm gonna go around this way so the bad guys don't see me. Right. Don't do that. The game wants you to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> And to make it more fitting, you know, the the sun stops shining and the rain starts. Yep. This is real good chase down the people who are after your nephew. It, it's mood weather. Mm -hmm. Also, that little icon filling up at the bottom middle of the screen there, that's... There are certain dudes who can call in reinforcements, and if that meter fills up all the way, then they, they successfully call in more guys. Don't do, need to do anything clever, it's just, hey man, bullet time and shooting people in the face is all you need to do. That seems like a sensible solution. Yep. Although I'm sure Liquors, Liquors, Wines doesn't want that <laughs> no. associated with them. I just think it's a little disappointing with this game where a lot of the problems in the game are easier, more easily solved with just shooting people in the face, rather than doing some kind of cool hacking thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you can hack stuff that's make the cars crash and stuff, but, like, it doesn't work 100% of the time, and it's just easier to just shoot people. Oh, come on, board that train. Board it, board it. No, don't climb on the rails. There's so many <laughs> signs telling you not to do that. <laughs> a woman just died yesterday because she got clipped by the train. Oh, God. Jax. You're safe now. All right, you're safe. Okay, listen. This is important. Back at the house, did you hear those men say anything? Come on, Jax, talk to me. All right. We're gonna find your mom. Come on. Dr. Mendez speaking? Yolanda, hi. This is Aiden Pierce, Nikki's brother. It'd be great if we could meet in person. I'm on the train with Jax. All right. Uh, do you know where Nikki drops him off? Yeah, we'll meet you there. I need you to be brave for me, okay? Men at the house said this. This is good, Jax. It's good. <laughs> 